and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Capricorn for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Capricorn placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before you get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want for your read. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, like this video please subscribe to my channel and check me out on patreon too also in the description below i post my personal spells there collective spreads live streams oh okay cap <laughs> let's see what's going on with you guys oh interesting oh my goodness the cards are talking to you guys today i have a lot to say interesting okay let's just get right into it <laughs> we have make the decision in love so there's a decision in terms of your romantic life that is kind of time sensitive the universe is like come on capricorn like decide what you want to do with this situation make the decision it's time for the decision to be made regardless of how difficult it may be finally make the decision and move on with things you've been contemplating for long enough so there's definitely an energy behind you like make up your mind do you want to be in this situation do you not want to be in this situation what kind of person do you want you can't just leave you know your options completely open in the sense that any old body can walk into your life and you know kind of stir things up like decide what it is that you want make a decision do you want to be single in a relationship situationship is friends with benefits best for you right now like decide what you really want to do um that kind of thing love uh love may be in the cards for you soon if you're already in a committed relationship your bond will deepen and if you are single get ready for a passionate affair i'm happy for you capricorn happy for you that you guys have some um something heating up for you because child it's desert it's a desert out here <laughs> we have competition and boundaries Competition. Life is not a competition. Everyone learns and experiences things on their own time based on their own life path. Don't compare yourself to others and allow yourself to experience things in your own time if it is meant. So you guys, there may be some sort of competition around and that's why you need to decide what you want to do because at the end of the day, even if things are divinely guided towards you, it's kind of like you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. Like you do still have to make the decision and choose to engage with someone, be with someone because people have free will. Okay. So too much time passes. People may get to getting bored and decide to go about their business and you may miss out. So we have boundaries. <clears throat> None of these want to focus today. Set clear boundaries with others. Don't let, I know that was not my door. I'm pretty sure I just heard my door. That would be insane. I literally ordered Jimmy John's five minutes ago. Oh my God. I just looked out the window. It was Jimmy John's. That is insane. What the heck? <laughs> Bruh, I, I swear to you, like I ordered Jimmy John's and then I clicked record. Anyways. Um, create a peaceful environment for yourself. You deserve respect and peace. So yeah, you guys tapping in Capricorn, like, um, it's, it's important to set your boundaries with people. So I feel like you guys may be making a decision on whether or not you should actually address an issue you've been having with someone, or if you should actually talk about something that's been bothering you. Interesting. All right. So we have considering. Um, it's not all about you. The world doesn't revolve around one person. There are other people in the world, so start considering others as well. So make sure you're considering someone else's feelings. And, you know, sometimes the considering energy can be like, you know what? I know you just don't have the tools. You just don't have the tools to be in the kind of relationship that I'm looking for that I need right now. So I'm going to leave you where you are. And I respect you as a person. I don't want to have to be the one to change you. You're an individual. I respect that, but we're not in alignment, so I got to go about my business. Like, I feel like, you know, this may be a situation like that. And then we have relax and be. Make sure you're taking time to yourself to relax and be. Allow yourself to chill out and take some time off, even if it's just for 15 minutes. You don't have to always be on the go doing things. Chill out for a bit. <clears throat> and then lastly, we have forgive. 
Forgive but don't forget, when you forgive, you not only release the negative energy towards the other person, but you release it towards yourself as well. However, do not forget the lesson that you do not, so that you do not have to repeat it. So the universe is like, okay, it may be time to forgive someone for, you know, wasting your time. Like, and I feel like that may be what makes you feel tethered to this r romantic situation or the situation that you know, involving people that you've developed love for. Honestly, it could be your disdain for a work situation, but I can speak from personal experience and say, like, those work situations, they can really, like, work family is, like, a real thing. I've had full-on work husbands, okay, work wives, work moms. That can really be family. So you may be upset that you have to make a decision to leave a country, but it's like, listen, like you guys are not offering me everything, you know, that I need here. It is a hard decision to make though. We got the two of swords in reverse and the death card. So I feel like the sooner you acknowledge the situation, the better, um, because I feel like you guys are just kind of, you feel like really torn on what you should do. And the universe is in full support of you, Capricorn. You're not going to fail. We got the Ace of Cups in the world here. So this is really good energy. Um, this lets me know that you are supported and the universe is going to match your energy, whatever you decide to really do, um, to be honest, especially in matters of, of finances. Knight of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse. You won't have to do this all on your own. The universe will support you, Cap. But we have the Hermit here. So I feel like you guys are kind of just like in your bag, like the kitty, like in your bag, but not in the way where it's like, oh, I'm getting to the coin, like in your bag in the sense that you're like, I don't really want to rock the boat at this time. Like, mm, I feel it. Nervousness. There's a nervousness. There's a little bit of a fear type of energy here. I'm really not okay with how quickly they delivered that Jimmy John's. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Like, I am pure confusion. Any other messages for Capricorn? Yeah, I feel like this is going to come with time. It just feels like, yeah, you guys don't want to, you guys are not ready for another situation where it seems like you're the one, um, you know, kind of missing out on something. Even if the decision is, you know, yours, it's, it's still kind of hard. Justice in reverse. It feels like someone's getting off scot-free. Like, it feels like, you know, someone is still getting their way. Like, you're having trouble kind of, I don't even feel like it's getting on your new timeline, um, because you know what you want. I feel like you are in alignment within, but the outside is where we're having the trouble. And it's like as within, so without. So if you don't kind of, you know, clean up the outside and have these conversations with people and be the embodiment of who you are now within, your within is going to start to get a little corrupted and things may get a little crazy. You may feel yourself over emotional and da 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 da. It can have so many effects, but hmm. I don't know what can I say you guys are not confused we got the five of wands in reverse it's not that you don't know what you want to do it's just a matter of I don't know I feel like someone is it's interesting coming from Capricorn because typically I don't get this kind of energy from from you guys typically you guys are honestly more like I'm gonna do what I need to do in this situation and I'm gonna go about my business so some people take that as like maybe emotionally detached or something but yeah, I just feel like this energy of you guys knowing what you need to do, but you still kind of feel a little guilty about it for whatever reason. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. The universe is really just saying, release the guilt, go about your business. <laughs> and if someone, you know, listen, I feel like you've done your part. Like if someone did not <laughs> meet you where you needed them to meet you, like, you know, you got to do what you got to do, Cap. <clears throat> mm, 
Wow, you're walking into a really good season as well. You're walking into some really good times, Capricorn. We got, it is safe for you to love, new love, let go of control issues, and healing family issues. So I feel like generationally, you may be experiencing like a new version of, uh, of love or life that your family just hasn't. I'm not necessarily feeling like a heavy energy, like you're breaking generational curses, but you'll know if you are or not. This really feels like an energy of maybe, you know, it's just like been a theme in your family to accept the regular or to accept less than what they deserve or something like that. And it's like, like you're breaking those boundaries so the universe is like it's gonna feel different and generatically gen generatically i don't know what what generationally that will be encoded in your dna okay listen don't make me get in my science bag okay if your family struggle to do certain things it's just like how you can have a trait like you you tilt your head a certain kind of way like your daddy had did when he was younger okay trust all sorts of things gets passed down through DNA, so it's a real thing. Um, anyways, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents is what it says at the bottom of that card, but we've already talked about those, you know, healing those generational things. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So yeah, the universe is telling you to go with the flow, but going with the flow isn't always about being in the flow. It's like, if you're going with the flow and the universe is like, all right, it's time to make the decision, it's time to cut off these people, it's time to do this and this and that, whatever, in terms of love, have a conversation, you know, to go with the flow you have to say okay i'm going to initiate this conversation you know and then we have it is safe for you to love a new love so yeah things are going up for you guys the universe is like listen please <laughs> please do not be hung up over no biscuit head boy or no biscuit head girl or no biscuit head ex best friend biscuit head job biscuit head manager okay the universe is here for you. You're going to get new love and it is safe for you to love. The universe will bless you with a new opportunity, whether it's in your job, your romantic life, your friendships. Okay. Blessings on blessings on blessings, Capricorn. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all is what it says on the back of that, a bottom of that card. And then new love, like I was saying, you know, you'll, you'll get yours, period. Uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Uh, you know... The universe may even send that in a little early for you guys just to help you make the decision because we didn't get the tower card. Good. Okay. I was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't look at the bottom of the deck, but we didn't get the tower card. So I don't feel like divine intervention. I don't feel like we're in that space quite yet. Um, you know, if things get out of control, we could get into that space, but I don't feel like we're in a space where it's like the universe needs to force you to, you know, make certain decisions and things like that. The universe may put a new love interest in the way, a new friend, a new job opportunity, um, you know, to kind of help you separate from this path and do what you really want to do. We have allow yourself to receive ooh, recognition and nurture yourself. Um, open your heart uh, and arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you now. So yeah, allow yourself to really receive. You can only really receive if the energy is also clear around you. So it'll be harder for you to even recognize or see the blessings that are entering your life if you're focused on things that are not in alignment with you know the path the universe wants you on. Um, we have recognition. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. Good, good Capricorn. You guys are really hard workers. Not a lot of signs work the way you guys do. Um, so I have no doubt that you have done something to, you know, put you in alignment with a higher path. Uh, nurture yourself. Investing time in a self-care will yield more energy for you later. So, yeah, make sure you take time to relax, okay? Don't get too hyped up. Don't get too wound up, especially if it's coming from outside sources that, you know, like, you know, from places where it's really not even your problem. You know, if it's someone else's energy, someone else is mad, don't allow yourself to be influenced by that prosperity and law of attraction prosperity your actions have resulted in incoming abundance law of attraction keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life so i feel like for some of you honestly you may be getting some sort of fame or recognition like we had in the cards but also with that law of attraction um yeah align yourself align yourself by being in alignment by yourself dissociated from the things that um just don't matter anymore for you oops <clears throat> yeah integration you're on a new path now capricorn it is what it is we have truth and omens so the universe that's good um 
truth and omens, the universe is going to continue to send you signs and signals. And this gives me confidence um, as far as that new love, like I was saying before, where it was like, well, maybe that'll come a little bit sooner for you guys. Um, yeah, for real, you may get that new love opportunity um, before you completely make certain decisions to kind of help you as an omen that yes, you're on the right path. This is what you're supposed to do. For those of you who are really struggling to let go of certain people or certain things, but we have integration. So it's time to practice what you preach and you can only be on that higher path where you can be the embodiment of everything you know you can be if you are dissociated, you know, unless you're dissociated from lower vibrational things and other paths that, you know, aren't in alignment. Um, and then we have changes, good, and anger. So yeah, you guys may be a little upset and angry with people, but just understand that they don't understand. There's like the end of a Kid, kid Cudi song. It's like, I hope they understand that I really understand that they don't understand, you know? It's just like an energy of, I know you don't, uh, I know you don't get it. I know you don't get it. And I'm not mad at you for it, but I am going to have to, you know, dip. All right, let's see what other messages we have for Kathy. Any other messages? Capricorn. Anything else Capricorn needs to know? Okay. Narrow pathway and navigating by the stars. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Listen, and on a narrow pathway, there's only so much room, so everybody can't come along on this journey with you, Capricorn. That's just what it is. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, is what it says at the bottom of that card. You know, follow what makes you happy and, um, you know, continue on your path of higher ascension, greater heights. Like I said, for some of you guys, are getting some fame. Purr! Period! <laughs> I had this phase where I used to literally yell out, period. Oh my goodness. Anyways, discovering truth, <laughs> traveling lightly. We also got the truth card from the other uh, deck. So yeah, we're definitely in, uh, in alignment here with this read. You stand in light of truth. I feel like you guys already know what you need to do. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. That's what we've been talking about. Stepping into your power and fogged in. Fogged in, go slow, take time. So for those of you, like I said, you know, I feel like you'll get some new love or some, a helping hand, an omen that'll help you clear the air so you can kind of navigate your way. Um, and then stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. So you definitely have everything that it takes, Capricorn, to get where you want to be. And it's just a matter of clearing the way so you can do so. Um, so yeah, you guys, that was your spread. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon in the description below as well. I post my personal spells on there, live streams, collective spreads on there. I love you, Capricorn. Be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one.